so with the AP knee, the body's normal response is to kind of lay out like that, or to lay. Yeah. So what he's doing is he's centering the patella to be centered. You see that? And then the CR is going to come a little bit below. The book says two inches, but. I do like an inch. Okay. Yeah. I use but you're supposed to use Okay, so it says anything more than ten centimeters right. is required for Bucky. Mm -hmm. Now it just honestly depends on your department. Most departments that we've been to want the knees done with the bucky. Oh, with the bucky. Sucks. And it's only because I think the technique looks better for them. It does look better. I know. It's just more mass. As you put the grid on uh, or go with Bucky, you need to add a little bit more technique right. to it, but um, it gives you a better image nonetheless. So I would get used to using the Bucky. The bucky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're just using it on here to show you guys, you know, the placement on it. But if you want, you want to put Bucky on it, just because we don't really need the. No, because we don't have the color. Okay. Okay. So yeah, centering the knee and leaving it open lengthwise, the spine on a ten by twelve. CR. Sorry. Okay. Questions? Comments? Yeah. And the degree for bookwise is about three to five, I believe. Medial rotation to get the knee. You really look at the patella and then you get centered. If you use a ten by twelve, can you put two knees on there or do you use one? Always one for ten by twelve. If you use a fourteen by seventeen? and the person is standing and you want both knees, you can do it that way. Okay. But usually they'll just want to see one knee, one ten times ball. Thank you. Um, want to do medial oblique? Yes, sure. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So if you rotate it a little bit more and actually have the patient lift their hip up just slightly. Let's do it right there. Try to visualize the patella like halfway uh, over the um, the, 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 the tongue. Yeah, this one. And then you set the same centering. So that's it. Would that apply to the soft? Are you going to go with these or that? Yeah. Even when you do bucky like that, it's fine. Yeah, that's fine. But you can increase the OID just to make up for or increase the SID to make up for the OID. Yeah, the OID is it's not a huge. It's really not that big. If it's like all the way up here. Yeah. And keep in mind sometimes the more prominent or the, the thinner the patient, the more you're the less you have to turn. Sometimes if the patient's thicker, you won't be able to see it. And you think you're turned up, but you might have to turn it a little bit more in order to get some rotated. That's just the way that the bodies are sometimes you need to turn a little bit more. Yeah. I may have been like say sometimes so. Sometimes you put a sponge right here. Um, to help. Right. Yeah. I haven't had a I have uncomfortable patients, but I haven't had a patient who couldn't hold it long enough to do an X-ray in the box. Even oh, big, wow. big patients, even the people are very even broken. Yeah. Good stuff. And then you take the end and say, okay, relax. So they just yeah. go back down and, you know, and you go over you the do the lateral <laughs> This is kind of more rare. But just like that. You kind of visualize the patella over, like halfway over. Right here. And your seer comes. I, I keep the same CR throughout the whole procedure, pretty much, except for the lateral. Yeah. And then the lateral is a little more restricted. Okay, I'm going to have you rotate towards me. Um, I like to keep his other knee kind of straight, kind of uncomfortable, but you'll just keep it a little bit. Like a little bit. I put my two fingers below this. Yeah, you're imagining the, the line for your joint space. And then that's the way that I do this with the 
So, yeah, I do the same thing. I go up to two fingers. And then I actually come down sometimes, and if I see, like, okay, come down a little bit more, that's, like, a little too much there. Come up a little bit, down more. So, I mean, you can just see running. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it should be parallel. Yeah, so it's your fingers parallel and perpendicular. So you want to make sure that usually gets clean models. Is it the nature of the patella when you still Hello? touch that area? And that's what the end of the area Yeah, I'm not like, you know. You're not grabbing at it, you're just. Yeah, I'm just showing you guys though. Like, you, you want to lightly palpate and then say, okay. Or like what he does, put your knee up and you're going to say, okay, come down onto my fingers. So it's not there. Oh, cool. But I'm just saying, you can get down. If you're not sure, you can also get down and visually see mm -hmm. where it's at. And also, skinny people can do this, but uh, the bigger people, you need to, yeah. It's there. So they can they rotate need. their hips a little bit. You can just do it like that. Yeah. And that's it for that. Um, medial oblique and under rotated, over rotated. Maybe they can see it better. Okay, so this is under rotated. Let's say it's like that. And you think you have it, but it's technically under rotated, right? I mean, it looks like it's lateral, but you're still under rotated because this here isn't right. down enough. So this is what shows the adductor tubercle. This one shows the adductor side. tubercle, and this is also going to show your uh, fib being superimposed in here. Now if you're too down, sorry, thank you, sorry. then your fib head starts coming in profile again, and it's separating. So this is how you're going to know whether it's under or over it, okay, when you're checking for the seas on it or whatnot. Any questions? Can we do the sunrise? Oh, yeah, we can. Yeah. Oh, this is the leg, I guess. You want to set up? Is she going to test it? Well, no, but that way. You're going to learn it. There's a whole, not a whole bunch. There's like three different ways to do it. This is one that I do. Do you have to do that a lot of weird angles? Yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> sunrise patient has to set. You want to try it? It's easier. It's lots of fun. So this is a sunrise. Yeah. Okay. So the this one. Yeah. So sometimes it depends on the patient. It has an injury. That's why you don't want to do the PA because there's any more pressure on it. If um, they can't hold themselves steady, let's say they're like overweight more or whatnot, this is probably not a good way to do it because they have to balance themselves. And not only that, but you want to make sure that this is really like even because he's kind of off. And I can just do the way it is. Look, it's, you know, that's okay. So the more they bend, the more you want to angle. So the point is, you want to make sure that this cassette is low enough so that when your light field comes in, you don't cut off the joint space over here. So you don't want it up here, you know, because when the light comes down through it, your sear is going to enter right where the joint space is. And you don't want it to get cut off. So make sure you come down low enough. Have a patient hold it. But the and then your CR, depending on um, the flex, no, you yeah. can come in Even either perpendicular like or at an angle. Yeah. It's What's okay. the angle? Oh, okay. It just, it honestly just depends. You can come in perpendicular. Right there. Mm, we probably do. I like, like, I like less. <laughs> Any more perpendicular? <laughs> ah, that makes it easy so you don't have to figure out the angle. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It depends on the patient. Yeah. It depends. Another way you guys don't um, bring it out the edge of the table. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So come to the edge. Just hang your legs over. One more. One more. Now this is a new one that um, I've maybe done once, but it seems to work well too. We don't have a step stool with it. Yeah. There's a step stool right there. Sorry. <laughs> You're trying to make yourself tall. <laughs> and I think you still might want to build it. This thing is small. Yeah. There is a snake in my boot. Let me take it to you. Let me take it to you. I get this one. Yes, I know you're there. So the point with this one again, you're getting the flex of the knee, right? And you're cutting in, and then you're getting your image coming through over here, and you're going to get the joint space, too. Because any of your people that are overweight, it's just easier yeah. for anyone. Yeah. This is here. actually really easy. Yeah, sometimes it depends on how much distance you're in. It doesn't actually matter. For, like, the patella. Yeah, it doesn't matter. 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 Yeah, it
It actually helps it because it magnifies the patella. Oh, that one's so what's so the SID in here? What is this called? What's the SID? Sunrise. You try to get as much SID as possible. Too? Yeah. There's di a lot of different ways different, to do it. It's different going before you hear some SID. Yeah, yeah, at least four. At least four. Yeah, so that's like another one that you can do it to. Have them flex. And sometimes this feels easier on the patient because they don't have to prop themselves up. And now it's showing them. You could actually have them standing. Just like this. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. right. And that's it. You just want to see the shadow. You don't have a collimator, but just see the shadow of the, um, the top. It's going to look like a sun, like a little sunrise. Yeah. Feeling like the mountain top and then a little. You just want the joint space. Do the chair better since it's a little higher up. Usually, you could actually bring the, um, the table down. This, this table doesn't need really extension. Yeah. So. So You'll find what works best. There's another way to do it. There's a lot of ways to do the same. Yeah, I've never done it on the, the prone position, but I'm assuming that it's... But on the two. Yeah, like I just... I never... I have good... I've had good patients. I never have to do it. Not the only... But not to say you won't ever... Can show them You guys want to see the other way? Yeah. Poor guy. You want to switch out? Does it don't matter? That's a yeah, because he didn't say no. <laughs> what do you want to do? <laughs> Does anybody want to be patient? You want to see it. You're a big boy. Um, I'll do it. <laughs> what do you want to do? Just that, uh, set, 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 excuse me. Thanks, man. So it's pretty, pretty much the same thing, but you're doing it for a PA. It's like this. This is a little bit more tricky because you need to get oh, you know, the foot out of the way. Yeah, don't worry about it. Okay, yeah. Don't just, worry. just pretend you're too, like, like for this. And you're going from uh, down here instead of from, from the top. Okay? Just like that. You just need to get the tube out of the way. And the leg flex that way? Yeah. Okay. So you're placing the tube, you're bringing so it down this. underneath it, turning the angle, and it's coming in through here. And again, your light collimation will just stop. Yeah. That's and then this is similar to another way to do the ICF, too. But okay. No, because they're not doing it on the test yet. So. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. Okay. Thank you. Questions, comments, concerns?